732 now. As a vaccine has now been approved by the FDA, a lot of people have many questions, including when the general public will be able to get the vaccine. That is not expected to happen until spring. It also bring up some legal questions as well, like could your boss require you to get it? Or can schools make students and teachers get it before going back to the classroom? So Irony is breaking it all down for us this morning. Well, in the near future, you may be able to get a COVID-19 vaccine at your local CVS pharmacy. Right now, the company is hiring tens of thousands of new workers to vaccinate people next year. Now, this comes as Pfizer's vaccine has been re recommended for emergency use. And many people are wondering who will be first to get the vaccine and could it be required? Well, local attorney Joshua Black says it's unlikely that we'll see any vaccine mandate soon or from the federal government. Government. However, he says employers in certain industries like the medical field could make this a condition to return to work as well as colleges and universities. That there's just a big public policy in those fields to make sure that there's uh, safety. You know, you're dealing with vulnerable populations, whether they're people who are uh, in infirmed health or children or the elderly. Those would be the industries that I would say it's most likely that we could see a potential vaccine mandate. Well, so far, the American College Health Association has not made any decision regarding a COVID-19 vaccine mandate, but college campuses have been seen as super spreaders that cause some of the country's top outbreaks. Attorney Black says a vaccine mandate could be enforced at these institutions as they're expected to return to campuses in early 2021 time you're going to live in a highly populated area like a college dorm or you're going to travel to new countries where you could be introducing uh, diseases or influenza that they don't have there's always this public safety issue that's got to be weighed against the individual liberty of choosing not to have a vaccine now, there are some people who may be exempt from a vaccine mandate. For instance, those who have underlying health conditions or serious religious beliefs that prevent them from being vaccinated. But Attorney Black said that these situations should be dealt on a case-by-case -case basis. Reporting, I'm Erin LeBeau for Arizona's Family.